Bucks gain possession along the boards. Not able to connect. Gains the zone through the middle. Players tell us all the time that they don't know where the next milestone is. That's garbage. They know when they're one goal away from a plateau. I think he's looking for it here. Sabinejad's won a big draw on their own end. Gains the zone. Nice poke check. Moves it quickly over to Malone. Gives them nothing in front. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Can't connect. New York's got it against the boards. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Sabinejad's won the draw. New York's got him along the wall. From point blank, it's in the back of the net. He scores! A couple goals in right around a minute and 50 seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Taken by Suter. Scored by number 93. New York's got the puck. Quick pass across to Panarin. By number 77. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. And that's picked off. Moves it to Eric Sinek. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. To his teammate, and that one's broken up. New York's got a hold of the puck. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Rangers have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Feeds it to Truba and tries to make a diagonal pass to Malone. Handles the puck at the point. Here's a shot. Traps that puck tight into his chest. The centermen glide into position. The Rangers take possession off the faceoff. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick pass to Suter. Sends the pass over. Puts him into the wall. James, there's the difference between getting by or getting crunched. He's a half a second from a great move. Instead, he got flattened. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. Levels him with the hit. Oh, and he pace scores! And there are magical moments for a rookie. And he just hit it. 100 points is astounding. It makes you wonder what's possible as his career moves forward. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Pinned up along the boards. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Panarin's got it along the wing. Let's it go Whoa. from the slot. He scores! And how about that? For someone just hoping to make it to the pros, there's number 500. I don't know that anybody really dreams about how many points or goals they can score, but you're right. He wasn't thought of as a player that was going to dominate. Now he's got 500 points. Here's a short pass to Panarin. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. New York's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck off the draw, and now it's grabbed by Dumba, and it's a quick pass to Zuccarello. Through center along the wing. Slides the puck over. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Georgiev. Quick feed to Panarin. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? Sends a pass over. Moves it to Malone. And they can't connect. Malone's got the puck. Here he is in close. Put it off the post. The Rangers have peppered this goaltender with shots tonight. A big lead. I bet you the goalie's pretty happy he heard that noise of the post behind him there. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Zuccarello. New York's got the puck behind the net. Can't keep a hold of it at 
after that hit. Quick shot. Stones him in front. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. The Rangers have been called for elbowing. They'll serve two in the box. Yeah, I got some advice how you don't get a penalty here. Don't elbow him in the head. You know, that's simple logic. New York's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now it's to Bushnevich. Move to the middle. Hammers it. Oh, what a save in front. On the doorstep. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. New York's lead will stay the same. That's a really good chance that just by an inch or so hits the post and stays out. Past the midway mark in this period, we've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. The Rangers have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Grabbed along the board by Zuccarello. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. He was right there and they can't convert. Denies him in front. Denies him again. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. The setters will glide into the dot. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Fires it into the offensive zone. New York's got the puck along the wall. Taken by Zabinijad. Snapper from the slot. Scores! There's number 20 of the year! Yeah, solid production. You get past the milestone of 20, and you know you've had a good year. How many times do you hit that number? You know, I don't know. Uh, 11, 12, 13, something like that. Who's counting, right? Now, yeah, I don't know. Nicely it's a good, done. Good number. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Here's an offensive chance. Quick pass to Dillon. Zabanajad's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Minnesota's on the attack. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. New York's blowing their opponent out of this game. They've intercepted so many passes, it's like they've played a perfect game. Here he is in front. Easily turned away by the goaltender with the glove. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Zabinijan's been nabbed for tripping. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. Spurgeon's on the ice for this offensive zone faceoff, and he's going to have to lead this team, James, offensively if they have any hope of getting back in this game. Grabs the puck. The Rangers take it across the line. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Scooped up along the wall by Fiala. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Hello! Yeah, hello, good night. What a hit. He put him right into the board, really finished hard. Back to the point it goes. Way too much congestion blocks that. He got banged up somewhere along the shift. He's not anywhere near full strength. He's just trying to get the puck out of the zone so he can get off the ice. And now he tries to get it across to Rask. He grabs the puck here at the point. He got all of that one. And there's the horn, mercifully bringing this first period to an end. Official has made his way back to center rice, and we are ready to go for period number two. Second period set to get underway. It was a disaster first. Here we go. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? New York's puck pursuit has been A1 tonight. They've created a pile of turnovers. They're hungrier on the puck, and they've got a big lead. And now it's grabbed by Truba. Inside the offensive zone. Sends it across. His reflexes on display tonight. Talbot's played poorly. 
the forwards and defensemen have played poorly. You can wrap a bowl around this one, James, and package it up. That's a bad night. Here's a short pass to Suter. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Shot, and he gets a paddle on that one. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. And he regains control of the puck. The Wild have possession along the boards. Made that stop. But he came out and challenged a good save. I like this by the coach here, James. He's gone to his youngest player, the rookie, and he's reminding him to play safe at this time of the game. You got the lead. You don't necessarily need another goal. You don't need turnovers. And as I tell my kids, Razor, safety never takes a holiday. The Rangers have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And here's the pass to Malone. Rocks him on the play. Taken along the wall by Zabinijad. Erickson X got it in the defensive end. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Scores! And the state of hockey is loving it! Minnesota's back to center ice. What's the message here? Because there's still a long way to go. I don't think anybody looks too far ahead. They just, you got one goal, try and get another, try and get yourself within shouting distance. Into the attacking area from the left side. Pucks it away in his own end. Scoops up the puck now. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Rangers have it against the wall. Slides it on over to Malone. Here he is in front, and he whiffs on it. The Wild have the puck in their own end. They've got numbers. Here he is, wrestling on that stick save. No loose change around the front. I like the way he directs this into the corner. Jensen's moving the puck through his own zone. Picked up along the boards by D'Angelo. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Parisi. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Pass across to Panarin. That pass doesn't go. To the low slot. Scores! His second of the game. Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating lights. He's finished off. The rookie's had a really good game, and he gets a little tap from the coach as he comes back to the bench. That doesn't happen very often. Pretty satisfying when you know the boss is happy with you. We've called his name multiple times. He's been all over the ice tonight. New York's had the better scoring opportunities, and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Here's a chance, and he makes the save. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Move to the middle, and that one's blocked. Along the half wall with the puck. Slides it diagonally to Zabinijad. New York's moving it into the offensive end. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Moves it to Eric Sinek. Moves it quickly over to Zabinijad. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. Gilles blows the whistle, and someone is off to the box. Fialo's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Sometimes you get caught in the wrong spot on the ice. He clearly interferes with the other player's progress. Wrong place, wrong time. You're right on that one, Ray. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, he'll feel that one. Here he is on the backhand, and another stop. Smothered that in close chance. Big stop by the keeper. Couldn't make that one happen. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Shuts him down. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Suter. 
looking to make something happen. And he's going after him here. Zabana Jack's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Sometimes you need grit, and you need grind, and you need toughness. Not in four-on-four. -on -four. You need skill. You need guys that can skate and who can move the puck. Big save! Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. The Rangers have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Passes ahead from the right side. To the front! Oh, a clutch save! The Rangers continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Minnesota's won the draw. Here he is from the slot. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Shoots it again to denial by the goaltender. Yeah, a pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back-to-back. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Nice pass. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Takes the pass. Malone's skills are evident, but what I like, James, is how he sees the ice so well. Everybody's a dangerous player when he's got the puck. Receives the pass. And he denied that opportunity. Up, still pushing and shoving. The whistle doesn't bring this play to a halt at all. Zuccarello's not so sure about the weight class here. He says no thanks. Minnesota's won the faceoff. Stopped by the goaltender. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Malone's got it on the offensive end. Slides it across. Glove save. How did he get a piece of that? Down the right side and into the zone. Puts the puck on net and makes the save. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Takes the feed. Tees him up. Oh, fantastic save. Lightning quick reflexes. The Rangers have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped... Well, a challenge being laid here. Malone's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. The Wild have it now. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Here's a chance right out in front. And they can't connect. Hey, usually the whistle is going to stop the play. I guess not tonight. Malone's ready to go. Apparently the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Malone. Sends it over. Knocked away. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. Referee Shilovec's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. Malone's going off for interference. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Move to the middle. Gets a puddle on it to make the save. Now a quick pass to Truba. Handles the puck. And the stick, his best friend on that save right there. Oh, that's a good hit. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Routine save made by Talbot. Tries to feed it over to Greenway. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Takes the stretch pass here in the open ice. And now he angles it across to Malone. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. 
shot. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Yeah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Malone's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves on. New York's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Here's a short pass to Dumba. Moves the puck. Fires it, and that's blocked. Picked up along the wall by Greenway. Puck picked up by Zabinijad. Forces the turnover. Here's a chance. With possession along the wall. Wrist shot from the slot. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Sends the pass over. Pass right in front. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Quick feed to Malone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Centered out in front. And there's the hat trick as he delivers again. James, if you're a goal scorer, you think about a night where everything goes well. This is what it looks like for a player. Moves it to Zabinijad. They go on the attack from the left side. Right in the slot. The one-time blast. Oh, couldn't finish the job. What an excellent opportunity, Ray. They worked their way into good shape. He's just not able to beat the goalie. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Time for the opening face-off here in period number three. James Savalski and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. Well, let's see what this third period can offer in what has been a score fest thus far. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Rangers are going to be able to stretch their bench out, use four lines, and take advantage of a real comfortable lead. That's his second! Their line has played really well, James. I like the way they move the puck. Finally. Here we are late in this game, James, and the coach is talking to the players about how to protect this lead. He stopped at the rookie spot a couple of times to remind him that puck's got to stay in front of you. Moment of truth coming up as they try to preserve the lead. New York's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Malone's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a chance, just wide. And now he moves it to Truba with authority. Goes right to the crease. Stones him with the blocker. He's sharp on this one, out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Slides the puck over. Stopped by the goaltender. New York's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. That goes wide. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Angles it over to Panarin. Floats it right onto the tape. Malone's crushing it tonight. I mean, he's got four points already, James, and this game isn't even close. Here's an odd man rush to his teammate. Picks off the pass. Moves it quickly over to Malone. They've got the defense outnumbered. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Minnesota's playing it through the neutral zone. Moves inside! He was locked in there. Takes the feed from the goaltender. And now it's over to Panarin. Pass right back. Move to the middle. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Right up front. Decides to go to the backhand. Stop that one. Sends it out right in front, and they can't convert to the play. Quick pass to Bushnevich. Set it out in front, and somehow, some way, he comes up with a stop with his glove. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Takes a shot, comes up with a stop. Works it across to Malone. Strong defensive effort. Stays with it. Here's a short pass to Panarin. Big time stop. Gets a blocker on it. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Sends a pass over. Dumps it in. New York's gained possession along the boards. Pushes it across to Panarin. Moves the puck along the half wall. 
Moves right to the middle. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Felino's got it against the boards. Puts it to the front of the net. Shot makes the save. I don't know that you dream about scoring a hat trick in your first year. First, you just want to get to the lead. Then you want to score. Now you got a chance for this. The Rangers have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. Takes the feed. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Here's a shot. Denies him. He got all of it. A chance. Stopped by the goaltender. New York's tension's rising. Didn't take much to get this heated up. The Rangers take possession off the faceoff. And they're going to drop the mitts here. spirited boat New York penalty to number 26 a five minute major for fighting time of the penalties six minutes 20 seconds directed over to Greenway on the attack along the boards centering pass in front he scores and we are back underway. They fight for it along the boards. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Nice pass. The Rangers move to the offensive zone. Stays with it for the save. He was all over this deep. A nice move, but the goaltender is right on it. Centering pass. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Oh, what a glove save. The Islanders are on the schedule for the next day here. Yeah, it's fine for us to look ahead, but you really can't do that. You still got to finish the job at hand. Grabs it in his own end. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover and tries to make a diagonal pass to Zuccarello. Great defensive effort with the stick. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. And he slides it quickly to Panarin. Takes the pass. Denies him on the play. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Erickson X lugging the puck. They go on the attack through center. And here's the official call as play is whistled dead. The Rangers will serve two minutes in the box. For tripping. Time to the penalty. 14 minutes, 7 seconds. Boom with that hit. Driving right to the front. Scores. That's three. I have nine of these, James. It is such a cool thing to score three. The Rangers aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. Sabinashad's one possession. Grabs control of it at the point. Centering pass! Oh, there's going to be a regret in this one. That might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just miss the pass. The scoring chance goes away. Quick feed to Ennis. Off his stick! Long jam in front. That's broken up. New York's in now. Moves it to Malone. Denies him in close. Malone's going to have to dig into the energy tank a little bit here. You lose a lot of energy in a fight, and even though he had five minutes to sit down and relax, you never really get back to feeling great. Grabbed along the board by Dumba. Plays the puck up ahead. 
Here he is, shot right in front. Great stick saved by Georgiev. Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. Malone's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Erickson X won the draw here in the offensive zone. With the stop. Moves it around along the half wall. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Let's it go and makes the save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And now he tries to get it across to Malone. Centering pass! And that's blocked! Minnesota's got it along the wall. Here they are on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Dillon. Takes the feet at the back end. Stopped by the goaltender. Sharp reaction save. Quick pass across to Parisi. Receives the pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Passed up ahead. Love the way he moved that puck up quickly. Approaching the final minute of regulation. In need of a goal, the extra attacker's out on the ice. And now he angles it across to D'Angelo. Smart defensive play there. Scooped up along the wall by Jensen. Puck scooped up by D'Angelo. And now he moves it to Panarin. Pokes the puck away. A chance to end it. Misses. The Wild have the puck against the boards. The Rangers have it in the offensive end. Dishes it to Spurgeon. Gains the zone on the left wing and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Wide open net, misses the net. The Wild have possession now. Looks to get the puck over to Erickson Eck. Minnesota's got it along the wall. And that's picked off. Puck grabbed by Strom. Grabs it in his own end. The Rangers play it along the boards. Dumped into the cross side. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Erickson Eck. Wicked blast! Oh, what a save by Georgiev. And that's all she wrote on that one. So Binajad's team gets the win, and a big part of that, his hat-trick performance. He's so good when he gets the puck on his stick. He's got a real sense of when to... Century mark achieved on the season. Congratulations as he hits 100 points on the year. No easy feat. And, you know, there's something magical about seeing that 100. I mean, it's not the 1980s anymore where you have a significant amount of players doing it. There's only just a select few that seem to achieve that number. And he hits it here. So congratulations. Uh, we're going to go into the locker room. We'll hear from some of his teammates. Hey, congratulations after this one goes out to you-know-who. It breaks the century mark for their career. A hundred points in their National Hockey League career. Just a nice, robust number as you hit triple digits. Uh, just an absolute pleasure both on and off the ice and nicely done there. All right, we'll continue our post-game show coverage. We'll hear from Ray, who'll drop back in again. Welcome back, everybody. Sabalski taking your calls, and we have been having one consistent narrative all night, and that's about the rookie. A new franchise mark for most goals scored by a freshman for this franchise. Unbelievable. So good so soon. I didn't think he was going to eyeball this record, let alone smash it in his rookie season and catch that. When you look at some of the greats in the history of this franchise and for him to already be now at the top of the leaderboard as a freshman, unreal. Congratulations to him. Uh, let's get over to Danny on line two. How you doing, man? Down individual performances, especially when you've said it again and again multiple times. So go ahead, have at her. 
What'd you think of the rookie last night? Oh, let me tell you what I think again, huh? <laughs> oh, man, he's been good, though. I, I love the way he plays. He just... He came onto the scene and it, it just, for me, it seemed like he was not intimidated at all. And I can think back to when I started, I was intimidated by everything. The size of the buildings, the, the fact I was in the best league, the players I was playing with and against, it was, it was a lot. Um, this kid doesn't seem to have any trepidation at all uh, to be in a big leaguer. Uh, you know what? He's he said it all, and that's why we pay him the big bucks. I can. Well, all eyes on the kid tonight, as we could see another record tumble here, as the rookie with another assist could become the NHL's single season assist king amongst all freshmen in the history of the league. Think about that. Do you think about some of the iconic playmakers that have burst onto the scene with some incredible achievements in their first year, and he just might surpass all of them if he can deliver tonight. I'm looking forward to it. I am excited to call this one. I know Ray is too. Uh, I want to get some of the other comments here from some of the other players. Now let's take a look at some of the rest of the action tonight in the NHL. The Jets were hoping to fly. All right, we'll continue the conversation here with my broadcast partner, who is probably cringing because he probably thought he was done with me a couple of weeks ago. But welcome back. Not yet, eh? <laughs> not yet. Of course not. Uh, hey, it's award season. Uh, I want to start with the Calder here because obviously here locally, a lot of people would skin in the game with the young man who really had a great season. What does this even mean to get to this point for him? Well, I, I'm sure he's really, really happy with the season he's had because he's been consistent and productive. Um, he has shown that he's an important part of, the, of his team. But to be in this part of the race at this time of the year, man, you got to be jacked. Eh? You know, you got a one in just a few chance to win. And uh, for me, it was no question that he would be in, among my finalists. Yeah, uh, he's certainly been impressive. I mean, I, obviously I'm biased. He's got my vote. Okay, so let's look at some of the other ones that are going on. to the show everybody alongside ray ferraro i'm james sabalski uh, ray obviously on the phone i gotta be the one in studio how are you i'm doing good uh so award season is in the books and the hometown kid a lot of people excited over the fact that the young man wins the calder uh the right choice in your mind well i i believe so i mean you, you look at the number of people that a monumental first career goal over 60 assists more than 100 points I got a topsy cat shooting at self control. A reasonably individual needs your cleanse. 
Busy night of action on the ice. Let's take a look at some of the finals that are in from tonight. The Flyers faced off with the Blue Jackets. Philadelphia terrorized the opposition goaltender. Can't even imagine how he feels after that offensive display. The Panthers were hoping to take a bite out of the Sharks. Florida played one of their strongest defensive games of the year, and they get the win. The Bruins took to the road to match up with the Avalanche. Colorado took this one with a strong game at both ends of the ice. Anywhere, we've got much more here on the show. Great night to be on the couch and watching hockey. Tons of scores around the league. Let's take a look at what went down. The Capitals were hoping to quiet the crowd on the road against the Rangers. Washington played a strong game at both ends of the ice. And as a result, they get the win.
Hey, no shortage of action and drama on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at what happened elsewhere. The Preds took to the ice to lock up with the Coyotes. Nashville tore it up offensively on a night it seemed like everybody was scoring. The Stars were hoping to play spoiler against the Blackhawks. Dallas played pad the stats night, winning easily in this one. The Canucks faced off against the Jets. Vancouver tightens it up when they needed to most late, and they get the win. Lots more puck talk coming your way, and we'll get to it next. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and what went down tonight on the ice. The Blues were looking to steal two against the Coyotes. St. Louis plastered the opposition with goals, goals, and even more goals. The Avs took to the road to match up with the Blue Jackets. Columbus tested their skills in the shootout. Okay, everybody, let's take a quick look at some of the final scores around the league tonight. The Oilers were on the road to take on the Flames. Edmonton pokes home the winner in the shootout. The Knights were looking to steal two points against the Sharks. San Jose treated everyone to a magical offensive display, and they come away with the win. The Yotes were hoping to grab two points up against the Blues. St. Louis put up a strong fight, and they do enough to get the win. We got to take a quick break, but we got a lot more coming your way next.
All right, let's get all you poolies and all you hockey fans caught up on all the action out on the ice tonight. The Golden Knights were in a dogfight on the road against the Ducks. Anaheim takes the win in a very close game. The Kings went toe-to-toe -to -toe on the road against the Flyers. Philadelphia padded the stats in this one, scoring at will. The Flames took on the Blue Jackets. Columbus turns in a complete effort, and it's enough to pick up the win. We got to take a quick break, everybody, but we've got a lot more to get to. Stay with us. Welcome to Dallas, Texas, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Rangers start with possession as we are now underway. And they fail to go take to take. And the puck skips away after that move. There's, well, a challenge being laid here. Well, that didn't take long. Yeah, early in the game, looks like each team trying to get an upper hand. how the energy in the building can seep away when your guy doesn't do so well in the fight. Yeah, you can hear a pin drop in this arena now. Well, cooler heads finally prevailing here as both teams step inside the face-off circle. A five-minute major for fighting. That concludes the first period. Really, both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. Still zeros on the board as the second period comes to an end. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Let's do this. And that'll do it tonight. I thought the team played well. I thought the goalie was excellent, earning his first shutout of the season. Okay, everybody, let's take a quick look at some of the final scores around the league tonight. The Rangers look to run rough shot over the Stars. The New York Rangers tightened it up in the victory en route to a shutout. The Blues had their hands full with the Lightning. St. Louis totals the opposition with a big offensive night. The Sabres battled it out against the Senators. Ottawa pounds their opposition with a big offensive night. Hey, we got to take a quick pause for the cause, but we got a lot more on the other side. Don't even think about leaving us.
Was there any volatility in the standings across the NHL tonight? Well, let's take a look at some of the final scores to find out. The Blue Shirts took to the road to match up with the Sabres. Buffalo trusted the system, they stayed with it, and they pull out the win. The Ducks were hoping to come up with two points on the road against the Hurricanes. Anaheim puts on a clinical defensive effort and skate off with the win. The Blue Jackets faced off against the Capitals.
welcome to a very special round of Three's Eliminator. Get excited, fans. I've been told we have champions in our midst. Let's see if they can keep up their winning ways. towards the net, and he sends him back to zero with the great goal. Well, he finished, but don't look now. The Covenant plus two money puck is up for grabs. Takes the shot, and the big stop. What focus by the goalie takes away the chance. Goodness, Brady, what a goal. your heart 
lights out in that matchup. Gotta say, I'm impressed with that level of play. Nice work to our winners. Keep it rolling into round two. Should be a heated game of threes eliminator. Looks like we have champions in our midst. Any pointers, guys?
is. We got a minus three. Scores! That's going to bring him back down to zero on the board. Oh, oh, oh my. Well, I feel a little sweaty after celebrating that last goal. That doesn't mean I don't want to do more dancing, though, friends. And wow, big glove save. He bought that glove for saving pucks, folks, and it was money well spent.
Scoring multiple money pots will make you hard to beat. Be sure to capitalize on those. Game on! Oh, the sweet deal of a goal! Spectacular score! Nice goal on that last play. But you guys will want to score this one. It's a minus two money pot that is capable of swinging a game completely. Scores! Ouch! That'll bring their score right back to zero. Mercy! Sweet finish! But stay focused. This plus two money pot is crucial. Double goal! Oh my! All right, sweet goal, guys. But this next one... Oh, what a stop! Getting square to the shooter. Two things I love in this world, a wasabi-flavored snow cone,
Conditions are looking just about perfect for this upcoming game of ones. Our contestants will have to try and separate themselves from the crowd in order to be crowned champion. Good luck, guys. These contestants are itching to play. They can barely stand still. The players are ready to go, and the puck is in play. Here we go. The goalie makes a quality save on that shot. John was so close, but didn't connect. Fires one, and the lane is closed. Bold strategy getting the way to block that shot, but sacrifices have to be made. Ça m'a permis de score et mon pote là. Je joue un 1v1v1. Ah, t'es gay, hein. Ouais. Je suis pas un Ouais. Ah, il s'est muté, c'est ta perte. Tiens, toi, reste à terre. Ah, t'es peint de ce rose de Sid Fiff. Vas-y, joue le temps, Sid Gay. Vas-y, vas-y, joue le temps, joue le temps. Vas-y, joue le temps, man. Joue le temps, bravo, t'as gagné. En jouant le temps. <rire> Hey, il est tellement avec ça de deux. Qu'est-ce qu'on travaille avec les Nicolas? 